Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Kevin Owasu and welcome to my to my channel, which is Teach Yourself Test Automation. Remember, I've got a, a web a web a website, a WordPress website as well, which goes by the same name, Teach Yourself Test Automation .com, and the link is down below, and you could check that out as well. All right. But today we are going to do uh, bring this um, cucumber BDD we've been teaching ourselves bring it together tonight by running a test case right so we want to set up a test runner class set up a, a test runner class give it the locations where it could find our feature file and the location where it could find our our um, step definition file and that test runner class will use that information to run our test case right our test case that we have in our feature file right so first of all let's create our um, runner class right so we have to a runner class a test runner test runner class is what you need to actually run uh, your, your test case right so your cucumber test case so we're going to source test java folder within our maven project and that's where you have to be otherwise your your, your test will run first thing we want to do is create a package right and within that package we'll have our test from a class right so here we just call this cucumber options right so that's our package created our package and within our package we want to create uh, a java file java class file right java class file and we'll call our just java class file just to be original test yeah, yeah test runner right just call it test runner and hit finish right hit finish now this is our class file created right so i'll just talk you through this right i could have easily cut and paste this uh what i'm about to tell you but i'll try and talk you through it right and see if it makes sense you can go away and kind of um, google it yourself and try and understand more about around it right as i do as well right so we need two annotations in order to set up our test runner class class right that will run our test cases right the first one is the run with the run with is a j unit annotation that j unit annotation just points the class where um, uh, the, the class that a j, j unit has to use right so or the class file right so we have to do run with right open and close within here we have to say Cucumber dot cucumber dot class right and now uh, you know all we have to do now when you see um, red bits underneath any of the code you just import your package it means you have the package to import right and under the cucumber we import our cucumber package now that's our first annotation that we need right the second annotation is a mo the most important one which is your cucumber options annotation which points which contains the information that points you to your future file and your test definition file and that's where it tells the future file to go and find the information it needs the test case and the test case um a test case cool and um, well the code within your definition file to run that test case right so we go with a Annotation cucumber, so cucumber options, right? Cucumber options. Open and close, right? And within here, we want to so hover over here. Uh, there's a mistake on that. Hover over it, import your cucumber options, right? And within here, we want to say features. Right, so that's our first place we want to want to point it where the features are who we hold our future, right? Our future uh, future file. So here we want to give the the the, um, the actual path to the to our future file, right? So we start with the that we start up there, and then because this is inside that folder, that's your first that will be your parent, and then that will be your child, right? So what we want to do, we want to do SRC backslash 
Mm. Yeah, two seconds. Let's clear about that. I think it was kind of wanting to hold. So the SRC backslash. I went up with forward slash there. Backslash test. Backslash Java. And then backslash feature, right? It's just called feature. It's not features. It's feature, right? I call my feature file feature. So that's very original feature, right? And then I'm going to put a comma here. And then now we want to tell it where our uh, step definition file is, right? And the step definition file, if you heard about it, sometimes it's called glue code, right? So you just say glue is equals to now with the glue code, you want to tell you don't give it the whole with the step definition file, you don't give it the whole path, you just tell it what the your actual package is called, right? Your package that holds your, your glue code or your, your step definition um, steps, right? So we want to copy that or just write it in. So we want to go and I want to say step definition. Don't, don't forget about the S, right? Step definitions. Right, and that that should be that should be us, right? So all we have done here, as I was telling you, all we have done here is our two annotations, our two annotations that we we need is the run with, right? And this is a J unit annotation that tells the the J unit what class to use, so it's going to use a cucumber class, and then the most important one is your uh, cucumber options annotation and that shows that points the cucumber options gives the them there's more options you can put in here right this is just a two two for now right i think there's more to come and as if the only two i've learned is this two right so which points to um, just our two files that we have so far right which is our, our feature file and our uh, test definition file Right, so if we save this, right? So here, yeah, the cookie option points to your um, feature file and it points to your step definition file, and that is just how you have to put it to actually run your test case, right? So just bear with me just now. Uh, so we've we've uh, saved that. Um, if we just go back into our our, you know, we don't need to open it again. We've saved it, so we'll just close that. So right click on your test runner uh, class and go down to run as, and then you want to run it as a JUnit test case, right? You want to run that JUnit test case and hopefully, fingers crossed, this runs okay, right? Oh, right. Ah, it has run okay, right? It has run okay. We have what we, we, we have proof that it ran and it has passed. But I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing the right results, right? So bear with me. Right. So that's what our scenario is called. That's what our feature is called. So the feature is passed. The scenario is passed. But underneath the scenario, we need to have the test steps, and those should also be ticked as green, right? So if we go to if we go back to our package explorer and we go into our step definition. Uh, is it a step definition? Yeah, step definition, right? So, okay, right. All this is showing green as well. And this, so instead of having code in here that actually executes uh, our test case, right? That actually executes our feature file, which is this login to, uh, login to uh, HRM. You see, so this is our, it's got our, our feature, what we call our feature, has got what we call our scenario. But these test steps, three te test steps, should appear underneath here as well in green, right? In tech, right? And all this red should not be here, right? It should not be here. So I have to look into that. And if you go into the feature, the step definition file here, I have put in something to be printed out if. If when you write test, I mean um, code in here, if it works, right? Just to, for now, we are putting out, putting in some random stuff to be printed out, right? 
if code was in here and this prints out successfully, that means that code would have worked, right? So the first bit I have here is like site displayed okay. Uh, and then the next bit I have is user password correct. And then the next bit I have is dashboard displayed okay, right? And we can see all that up down here displayed okay, but the reporting, I think this is to do the reporting. The reporting did not work, right? So I'm gonna have to um, I'm gonna have to troubleshoot this, right? Um, and then get back to you guys. But I think I'm still gonna upload this video because this this shows uh, um, you know solving a problem in in progress, right? So yeah, we'll upload this video, right? So thank you for watching, right? If it's the first time uh, uh, you come across this channel, please consider subscribing, right? If this is uh, add any value to your to your knowledge as well, right? So we are here trying to learn and and, and, and inspiring others and, and and trying to empower others as well, right? To do the same, right? And elevate yourself within your nine to five, or or, or, or use your knowledge that you have to 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 go out there and do freelance and get some side 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 income or whatever, right? So that's the dream for most of us and i'll say good night for now okay and we'll troubleshoot this right it runs successfully you know you know how you know now how to set up your your future files set up your your um step definition file set up your test runner a uh, uh, test runner class file and and run your test case and it's successful but i think this down here just looking at it i think it's about the reporting right so it says share your cucumber report with right so it's about i think it's around the reporting right so we'll, we'll try we'll try to troubleshoot this and this in, in itself will be another video right okay thank you very much stay blessed bye